hi. It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood. A beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a neighborly day in this beauty wood. A neighborly day for a beauty. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I have always wanted to have a neighbor just like you. I've always wanted to live in a neighborhood with you. So let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're together, we might as well say, Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Won't you please? Won't you please? Please won't you be my neighbor? I'm glad you are my television neighbor. Mm -hmm. Today I brought a board and some rope. What would you do with a board and some rope? Well, we could knock on the board. If you don't have a board, you could do it with your hands. Dum, da dum, da da dum. Dum, da dum, da da dum. And with the rope, well, some people jump rope. I never could jump rope very well. But I'll try. <laughs> but I have an idea of what we can do with both of them together. The board and the rope together. But I'll have to go outside where my toolbox is. I fish. together. I need a hammer and some nails. When I see this toolbox, I often think of the rules that we had when I was a little boy. Rules about tools. You know, when I would want to use a hammer, some nails or a screwdriver and screws or things like that. The rule was, the main rule, that I had to have a grown-up with me. Yeah. So the grown-up could see that I was going to be safe with these tools. You see what I'm doing is just putting some nails in about that far. Oh, look at the pretty shadows that may. Hmm. Boy, that's nice. Just put some nails in this board and then string the rope all around the nails in different designs. See? Wait, I'll put some more and show you. Put one down here. One over here. You can put them anywhere. Maybe one way up here. Well, let's start with that many. Let's see what it looks like. Just regular rope. Maybe another nail here. Best thing to do when you're doing something like this is simply take your time. Take time. I like to take my time. I mean that when I want to do a thing, I like to take my time to do it right. I mean I just might make mistakes if I should have to hurry up. And so I like to take my time. To tie my shoes, to eat, I think we could use a nail right over here, to get dressed, to go to sleep at night, to sing a song for you and everything I do. I like to take my time, I mean, 
think I'll use some yarn in here. I like to take my time to do it right. I mean, I just might make mistakes if I should have to hurry up. And so I like to take my time. Ba -dum, ba -dum. design you make will be yours. Oh, sometimes I like to think of people doing things very quickly and sometimes very, very slowly. Let's think of someone jumping rope very slowly, okay? Is that our thinking, or is that the telephone? I think it's the telephone. Let's see who that is. If you want to, sometime, get a grown-up to help you with something like that. Fun. Hello? Hi, France. Oh, I've been using a board and rope and nails, yarn, having a great time. Oh, sure, I remember the last time we were there. All right, we will. Thank you very much. All right, goodbye. It's Francois Clemens. He said there's some children over at his studio. Thought maybe we might like to come. Remember the last time that we went? We were going around like airplanes and all sorts of things. Come along, let's see what they're doing today. Here we go. Yours is 50 pounds. Oh, it's so heavy. Now we can go faster. Let's say the sand is dry. Yes, now we can go faster. Go right over the sand. Okay, faster. Can go faster. Hi, Fred. How are you, Fred? Fine. Why don't you join us? Take off your shoes and socks. All right. Okay, why don't we decide what else we're going to do? Okay, come over and we can talk about it. Hey, look, Why don't we, Janet? Already made a name tag for me. Why Thank don't you. We try okay, we do each to take my shoes and socks off. Maybe oh, you'd like to happen. take your shoes and socks off if you want. And we'll do the same thing with them. Shoes and socks. Okay, I've got mine off. Okay, we're gonna fly gonna like do? birds first. All right. Okay, Janet. Everyone. Sure, Dan. Careful. Okay, let's fly like birds. Way up high. Try, okay? Now, what kind of bird are you, Jackie? You're a robin. I'm a cardinal. You're a you cardinal? <laughs> nice, Jim. You're an Indian bird. Now fly down low. Way down low. Okay. Now, let's take a landing on the water, okay? How would you land on the water? And then float along, okay? And float. How do you float? Jackie? How do you float? Put your hands out. How do you float? There we float. How does a fish swim? Like this. Put your hands. Fish swims? Right. 
And now, how do you swim? You swim like this. Right. Swim. How do you swim if the water is hot? If it's hot? Oh, we'd like to get out of this hot water. Oh, get to the shore. How do you swim if it's cold? Oh, oh it's so cold. Oh. I just oh. wanted to watch you. <laughs> Okay, now let's all sit down and put our feet together, okay? Get to know you a little better. Janet? Okay? Tupi 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 Let me get into Okay, now let's all lean back, okay? And lift one foot. That's right, nice and high. There you go. Down slowly. And lift the other one. Very, very high. That's good. Down slowly. Who can lift both of them together? Can you lift both of them? That's very good. And down slowly. And now finally, who can put them over their head together? Both of them. Oh! Back down. That's very good. Oh, now why don't we rest for a moment? That was fun. Would you like a snack? Yeah. Okay, sit here for a moment, and I'll get the snacks for you. Just a moment. Yay! It still has a little stick in You want to put it on? Okay. Mm. Do you like raisins? Yeah. Okay. Why don't you have some raisins, and I'll pour you some. Would you like some? I would, thank you. <laughs> okay. If you have anything at home to, that you're allowed to eat, maybe you'd We're like to eat that here. now. Okay. What is this? That's some pineapple juice. Do you like pineapple juice? Uh, no, but I try it. Okay. You are? Yeah. Would you like some raisins, Sybil? You can eat raisins. They're delicious, aren't they? Hmm. And there you can have some. What are some of your important words, Jackie? Um, you can have love. Some. Love? That's a very important word. These raisins are good. Peace. Mm -hmm. Peace? Yes? Any other word? Oh, hi, Joe. Hi, friends. Hey, Joe. How are you? How are you? Hi, Fred. Good to see you. Good hi, Johnny. You. Hi, 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 kids. How you doing? Oh, it's snack time. Hmm. Huh? How about having some refreshments here? Oh, I'd love to take some with me. I'm kind of busy. I just came over to see how you were making out without your other piano. Oh, well, this piano is fine for the kind of work we're doing now. Is it all right? I'll get the other one back to you in about a week. Plenty of time. Thanks okay. a lot. I wish That's I could stay and join you, but I'll take some with me. Okay. Please, please. Okay. Nice you stop by. Okay, friends. Bye. Bye, Fred. Bye, See bye, you later, Jeff. Jeff. Bye, bye, kids. Bye. See you. We're having bare feet time here. Bye-bye. <laughs> what happened to your tub? Here? It's all right. My toes just go up like that. Everybody's feet are different, you know? Do your, do your toes do that? I might go straight, but I can do that. Oh, yeah. That's kind of fun to be able to do I, that, I isn't it? I have to play with my feet and do that. Mm-hmm. You can do all sorts of things can with them. Can you do it, Mama? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. No, uh, mm -hmm. no, no. No. Yes. How did you do that? No. Yes. And, oh, that was great. <laughs> could you do that with your foot? Say no with your foot like that. And then, yes with it like that. Would you like some more? Okay. There you are. I think maybe I'm going to have to go. Excuse me a minute. I'll get my shoes and put them on. Okay. Two mighty important words. Love and peace that you were talking about, Jackie. Yes, I need to get back to my place. My television house. Right yeah, it's out that way. Mm -hmm. And then we got Mr. Rogers again. Right. Then maybe we can have some make believe. We wouldn't be able to make believe. I think we'll be still eating this. <laughs> Will you? Mm -hmm. It sure I don't is know good. If we can have some. Do you mean it's all set up? We can have some make believe. We can, we can have it all set up right in our minds. 
because that's where we make believe. I was thinking of it. Right you up mean here. You it up for us to watch? We'll be able to. Mm -hmm. Oh, great! In just a little not, bit. Not right here. Okay. okay. You right. mean you'll take us to your place a little later? And you can just see some make believe. Well, thank, thank you, you for coming by. Being I've with enjoyed it. Bye, Mr. Costa. You mean you'll take Goodbye, us to your Jordana. place a little later? Uh huh. So that we can make believe. Great. Okay. Okay, Jordan. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 I like it there. I learn so much from children. I surely do. Mighty important things children think about love, peace. Did you hear that? <laughs> you see the boy go like this for yes and like that for no? Great ideas you have. I'd like you to see this old king puppet that I used to play with. What do you do? <laughs> you see, puppets are open at the bottom. So you can put in your hands or your bare feet. Yeah. We've had a lot to do with bare feet today, so why don't we just think up something for the neighborhood of make-believe that has to do with bare hands. Let's say that King Friday makes a rule that nobody in make-believe can have bare hands today. All right, let's try that for our make-believe. Okay, Trolley, we have a rule from the king that there are no bare hands in make-believe today. Ready? Neighborhood of make-believe. Trolley? No. I expect everyone to wear them. This is a mitten day in my land. Hmm. King Friday, they're not very easy to work with. I never promised you an easy job, handyman. Just be glad it's interesting. Oh, well, interesting it is, sir. Now, carry out my proclamation. No bare hand in this land. Right away, King Friday. No bare hand in this land. I guess I'll tell Ex and Henrietta first. I hope I haven't disturbed you. Meow, yeah, you're doing me yeah, dishes, meow. Yeah. Oh, your dishes? Meow. Yeah. Well, I'm afraid you're going to have to stop doing that. Meow, yeah, meow, yeah, why? Well, King Friday says that everybody has to wear their mittens today. Meow, yeah, why forevermore? Well, I don't know why. He just told me to go around and tell everybody no bare hand in the land. Meow, yeah, okay. Meow, yeah, must meow, yeah, me yeah, good reason, meow it. Well, I, I guess there is. Meow, put meow mittens on, meow. Oh, th thank you, Henrietta. Oh. oh, oh, sorry it took me so long, Handy. I was building a birdhouse in my roots. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, do you think that you can finish it with your mittens on, X? Well, mittens? Why do you ask that? Well, King Friday says it's a new rule and that this is a mitten day and everybody's supposed to wear mittens. Well, why? Well, I don't know why, X. He just told me that a little while ago to go around and tell everybody. Oh. Meow, 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 mittens, X. Oh, I'm just about to get them, Han. Oh, Henrietta, they really look nice on you. Meow, 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 you can't do meow dishes, meow. Uh, he must have a good reason for it. I guess I'll have to stop building my birdhouse, too. Yeah, yeah. I think there is. Well, no bare hand in this land. I'll go tell all the others. Uh, when you find out why, uh, let us know, will uh, you? I will, I will. Yeah. Uh, Handy? Yes, X? Uh, does Lady Elaine have mittens on yet? Well, I haven't told her about the rule yet. I see. 
I guess I better go there now. Yeah. You know, I think maybe Benjamin Franklin wore mittens once. <laughs> I bet he did. Yeah, I'll see you. Okay, bye. Bye, yeah. Henrietta. Here goes. Well, as I live and swing, it's the musical handyman. <laughs> Give me a whistle and a toot. Toot. Oh, I guess my heart's not in it today, Lady Elaine. What's the matter, sweetie? Lay it on me. I've got broad shoulders. Well, do you have a pair of mittens? What's that have to do with it? Look at this. Uh, I like your bare hands better. Uh, but King Friday doesn't. Well, I'll tell him a thing or two. You're a handyman. You're not a mittenny man. Mittenny man, Negri. That's no thing to call you. Take those mittens off. Oh, but, but, Lady Elaine, it's the king's rule, and he says that today is a mitten day, and everybody is supposed to wear their mittens. Did I hear you say everybody? That's right. Well, here's one buddy that isn't everybody. But, Lady Elaine, he must have a good reason for it. All right, then. What is his reason? Well, I really don't know. We'll just go ask him. Well, wait a minute. Now, do you really think that's the best policy? Quite sure. Want to race me to the castle? Mm, not really. Well, I'm going. On your mark. Get set. I won. I won. Where's that Negri? What's he doing, anyway? Oh, there you are. Oh. I had to run around and tell all the others to put their mittens on. Oh, well, I won anyway. Now, where's that mitteny lion? Do you mean King Friday? Well, sure. Where is he? Here he comes now. Oh, boy. Uh, Lady Fairchild and Handyman Negri, I presume? Correct as usual, King Friday. You mean mitteny man Negri, don't you? Uh, where are your mittens, Fairchild? At home in the drawer. Uh, but this is a mitten day. They should be on your hands. They will stay in my drawer until someone tells me why they should be on my hands. In 17 and a half seconds, you will know why. Do you mean there is a good reason for this being mitten day? Naturally. I am a reasonable king. Yeah, that's a laugh. Oh, hello, you all. <laughs> meow. Oh, hi, X. Hi, uh, Anne. X, the owl, and Henrietta Pussycat, I presume. Meow wrecked as usual, Meow Friday. Uh, we just came to ask uh, why the mittens. I'm glad you have them on. Uh, you silly nuts, why do you keep them on? Well, we thought the king might have a good reason for them. Yeah. Well, we're going to know in a few seconds. You certainly will know. Sure we will. Ah, this better be a good one, Friday. <laughs> hey, do you feel that? Mm. Oh, what mm. a breeze. That's it. Oh. It's the hand-freezing breeze. My special sources told me that it was on its way to this neighborhood. <laughs> Well, it must be a hand-freezing breeze that won't go through mittens. Oh, right you are, mitteny man Negri. How are your hands, Lady Elaine? Uh, I think I'll go back to the museum. I can't seem to move them at all. They're very cold. Here, Lady Elaine, get on my back and I'll fly you over for your mittens. Thanks, dear. Uh, next time, fair child, uh, listen to your king. Next time? Tell us all why we should listen. Mm. Meow That's, wasn't meow, meow. That's the first time I ever saw a hand-freezing breeze. It was a big surprise. Meow wasn't meow good surprise, especially meow Lady Elaine. Yes, exactly. Hey, trolley. Trolley's a good game. Only in make-believe could there be a hand-freezing breeze. Sure, if it got cold here, in our real world, all parts of us would get cold, not just our hands. Exactly. Well, better go out and clear up things at the workbench. Lady Elaine found something out. She found out that 
King Friday had made a good rule. I wonder if I could just add just a little bit to the... Put some yellow on it. Not too much, just... Just a little to give it an added color. There, that would do. Right in like that. Hmm. Hard to stop when you start something like this. Yeah. Well, it's good to know that there are good rules. Yeah, rules that help us to be safe and warm. Mm -hmm. Put this right up here, because I made it. It's such a good feeling to know you're alive. It's such a happy feeling. You're growing inside. And when you wake up ready to say, I think I'll make a snappy new day. It's such a good feeling, a very good feeling, a feeling you know that I'll be back when tomorrow's new. And I'll have more ideas for you. And you'll have things you'll want to talk about. I will, too. <laughs> when I go home at night, I often think of you. Yeah. Think of my television friends and how I'll be able to visit with you the next day. It's such a good feeling, a very good feeling, the feeling you know that we're friends. Yeah, I'll be back to be with you tomorrow. Bye. to make this television visit are the people of the Sears Roebuck Foundation and the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. This is PBS.